Hello, everybody, and welcome today. How you doing, Barlow? I'm, I'm really good. <laughs> I'm really, really good. I'm about to vibrate onto this seat over here. <laughs> you, can, you can actually feel me just this sitting here. so in. exciting. Yeah, it, it is, is actually so exciting. Good. So this video is basically the road to Adepticon, um, because me yes, and Barlow sir. are going to Adepticon um, coming up this week. Yes. And yes, then... Yes. Uh, we're going, I'm going to share a schedule with you for Adepticon because we're actually going to do some specialty videos while we're up there. And then we also signed up for some events that we're going to talk about. But the one that Barlow, this is your first time going to Adepticon, My first time in right? Adepticon, yes. It's first time. I can't wait. So he's never been before. No. And I was like, you know what? Let's do something up there. They have a doubles Lord of the Rings casual event. And we made display boards and armies to go to it. How cool is this? How, yeah, <laughs> How cool they turned out really well, and so I figured we share, you know, what we chose and everything like that. Um, and then uh, we're hoping that so it says casual doubles event, so we're hoping it's not like Honest Eddie's car dealership, right? Where they, <laughs> they're like, yeah, come on down, no, like cause, they they can play as competitive as they want because I'm definitely going to be casual. It's not, yeah, it's not going to matter. They can, you can be as competitive as you want. That's totally fine. But I'm and, casual. And hopefully, I'm able to get another game in before we go because I've only played like three games of Lord of the Rings. And, oh yeah, we're doing it. Yeah, so we'll we're have to like it. push these models around a little bit. Um, but yeah, so Depticon is coming up this week and we're going to try to shoot a video all four nights that we're up there. Um, so we're going to be up there Wednesday night and, uh, I think that's the 23rd. Yes, sir. And we're going to, um, do, we're going to the GW, GW preview show. show. Yep. And so afterwards we're going to just shoot a video talking about yep. what we enjoyed about the preview show. Hopefully it's better than the LVO show they did. Um, Cause that one oh, was not good. a little disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah, boring. That's what I would say. Uh, Thursday, we're going to walk around Adepticon cause no, yep. none of us have scheduled stuff. So, th um, so Thursday we're uh, just walking around the hall and everything. And then we're going to talk about some exciting stuff. We saw showing off all the cool stuff. Some that we minis saw we there. found yeah. or another game maybe yeah. that we found, but you know, just talk about, you know, Adepticon in general. Yep. And then Friday is our doubles event that we're we're going to. So we, we get to will play Lord of the Rings in a doubles battle match. So we're going to talk at a about convention. Correct. Oh, yes. I'm so With more <laughs> fans of Lord of the Rings. Yes. And yes. we're going to uh, talk about that experience, and we will reveal our. We might have some pictures from the event too. Yeah, we'll, we'll take some pictures of the yeah, event okay, and stuff, good. and um, good. And we'll uh, reveal our shirts. Yes, we've got yes. shirts made our, for this. Our our team name, our, our shirts, team name, right? yeah. our shirts, and then uh, Friday. That's Friday. That's Friday. Then Saturday, you're done for yep. the weekend. Nope. Well, I'm, well, well I mean, I'm going to still be there, and I get to wander around, around and have fun and watch you guys play games. <laughs> Saturday, I, me, and some other brick and mortar regulars will be there in the Age of Sigmar Championships. So we will talk that's about right. that on Saturday. And that's two days, right? That's it's a two-day event. Sunday. Okay. So Saturday night, we'll talk about, you know, the first round, how everything yep. went. But we'll have some some of those brick-and-mortar regulars on uh, talking about their experience. And then Sunday, I've been told that we can, like, kind of YouTube live from the road. Ah, uh, we're, we're going to try it. We're, we're going to try, try it, right? We're going to try it. Why not? And uh, It'll be fun. And cap, <laughs> you know, just cap and talk yeah. about our experience. Everything. So there will not be, for the first time, a shiny new toys that month because it's the end of the it's the end of the month. But there are some Sunday. cool stuff that came out. There there are some cool things that came out in March. So that you all should check out definitely. Maybe we'll squeeze one in. We'll squeeze. We'll talk about it as we're driving back. Maybe we'll, we'll squeeze, squeeze one in. Yeah. And maybe we'll surprise some people with the with the shiny new toys. We'll never find some. You like it? Maybe not. All right. <laughs> so we decided that we were going to take Rohan and Gondor yep. um, to the event. Yep. And uh, because Gondor's the only army I have, so we had to find another good guy army. And the the best good guy army to go with Gondor, naturally, is... Is Rohan. Rohan right? So we wanted, to do, we wanted to do Rohan. Yep. And so we decided that at first, when we were designing the boards, um, th they both were this color. Yep. And then it just didn't look right with the Gondor models. Yep, yep. So we were like, you know what? I bet we can build an Osgiliath board too. And it looks awesome. And so, yeah, we were able to find some stuff. We have the Osgiliath terrain. And yep. then, uh, you know, then we have the Rohan terrain. Yep. And so you want to tell them a little bit about your choices for Rohan? So we had to choose 500-point armies. Um, and they, they either have to be from the same army list or they have to be historical allies. Um, that's the uh, doubles match Mass rules. play, yep. So this is a 500-point 
Rohan army that I chose, and uh, everybody is mounted. My entire force is mounted. That's very I have some, uh, except for except for Mary, because I couldn't afford to put him on a pony, and that would look silly anyway. And he didn't ride into the Planar Fields on a pony. He rode on uh, yes, yeah, so in on front A1s. of him. So that's yeah. that's where I put the model, and that's where he's going to be uh, until I deploy him. Um, <clears throat> so they're all on. Uh, they're all mounted, as I said. Uh, we're bringing models in case they get dismounted, but the the theme of this army is going to be, like you said, it's going to be on theme. Uh, I'm going to try and rush in and take what objectives I can and kind of plow the road through so that Gondor can follow up and, and kind of beat up uh, on the bad guys, whoever our opponents happen to be. I took, of course, King Theoden, uh, the uh, the king of, of the Ritter Martin, and then uh, I took Aomer. And Eowyn and Mary, those are my heroes that I have for this. And then uh, I have twelve mounted uh, Rohirrim, and these are uh, these are not like the the Rohirrim, uh, you know, high guard or anything like that. These are the regular foot soldiers. Uh, several of them armed with spears, several of them armed with bows, um, and then uh, a couple with swords and a couple with axes as well. And they are, uh, I think, a, a pretty pretty balanced mix, um, given this. My hope is that uh, both Aomer and Theoden are going to wreak some havoc on the bad guys, because they should be some really powerful models. Um, and then Mary and Aowen really are just for, uh, just because I like the models. Because you're playing Rohan. Yeah, because I'm playing Rohan. Just <laughs> because I wanted to do yeah, I'd it. Rather, I'd rather take those two heroes than add more foot soldiers, just because they're, they're fun for me. So that's why I put them in there. All right. Yep. And so I took Gondor. And I, so I, I have a limited selection of models. I have more limited selection of models th th than you did um, in my army. So when I was choosing my heroes, I was either going to choose Boromir or the king, uh, Aragorn. Mm -hmm. And I chose Boromir instead. I guess I have Gandalf too, but I have yet to learn magic, so... <laughs> I, it was between those two. Boromir's uh, powerful. He's a good model. So yeah, they both have their guy. like things, right? Like yeah. so, Boromir, you know, he he gets six might, which is a lot uh -huh. in the game, and then mm -hmm. the king, I believe, gets a, an, a might every round. Like, yeah, he, he just gets, gets a free one. That's right. He gets a free one every turn. And but he was two hundred twenty-five points, and I kind of wanted to take guys on foot, so I just took a bunch of just yeah. dude like uh, you gone, you know, the men of Minas Tirith yeah. on foot. So I have. Boromir, and then I have a captain, and then I took the uh, the knight, oh. the white towers, the knight, of the knight tower. of the white tower, yeah. just because I love that model, and then I have four fountain uh, guard of the fountain court to protect Boromir, oh. and then I the rest are just uh, uh, men, men of Minas Tirith, either equipped with um, a spear or sword. I don't have any bows. And then I took the standard and the musician yeah. because they're so good, right? Like, right. you know, the musician gives its thing to the entire table, right. and then the right. re-roll one die is actually pretty good, right. you know, pretty good in the in the game. Well, and your army's pretty pretty heavily armored too, so it should be fairly resilient. I gave everyone a shield. Yeah, they yeah. should be they should be pretty, and with their heavy armor, with that, they should be pretty resilient out on the table. So that's the plan was, you yeah. know, you were going to run around. And I was like, well, okay, well, I'll just take guys and hold. That's right. I'll just wave at you as you're like <laughs> in the backfield just doing all your stuff. But, uh, yeah, so the display boards actually were really fun to make. Um, awesome. And then so good, man. You did such a great job. And with they, yeah, and they turned out really well. It's I was so really good. pleased with them because the Lord of the Rings train actually is really nice. I wish yeah. it was scaled up just a little bit, you know, but it is true 25 for Lord of the Rings, so that's why it's kind of, you know. And it's good detail. It's I mean, the detail really matches what was in the movies. I mean, and everything. I mean, look at the little horses on the engine. Look at the, the statues. I mean, those were statues that we actually this. saw in the movies. I mean, they were there. Yeah, so, this is not. I actually, no, 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 yeah. yeah, this was this fountain was um, one of the guys found this and you know painted it up. But uh, yeah, so we figured we share that with you. This is our road to Adepticon, and uh, this is what we're going to be doing at Adepticon, and then that is our schedule uh, for the event coming up. We're really excited. We're hoping you guys join us. You know, uh, on YouTube where we talk about that stuff, and uh, yeah, anything else? Oh, no, I'm super excited. I can't wait. I can't wait to show you guys uh, everything that we see there at Adepticon. This is my first Adepticon, so uh, expect all out. I'm going to be... I'm going to be excited. It's exciting. No, it's really exciting because it's like a week away now, right? Like, it's really it's exciting. Really close. You know, especially it's been a couple of years since they've had Adepticon. But yeah. 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 No, we're really excited. And uh, yeah, we figured to share that with you. And uh, y'all have a wonderful now. We'll see ya.